This one here is from James. This is, I think is a good one. Uh, James sent me an email here and he also sent a couple of pictures. So let me get that up on the screen. Um, so what James is trying to do is that James is trying to, um, to create a crash ha helmet, but have a, uh, a GoPro mount on it, but he wants the GoPro mount to follow the curve of the helmet. How do you do that in Fusion? There's different ways to do it, but I want to show something really cool. And this goes to anybody who 3D prints or, or if you're a machine or whatever, you need to know about this. Let's just close these pictures down for a second. Um, first of all, I need to get a helmet. So I want to show you a cool website if you're not familiar with it. If you go to GrabCAD and here, and you got to log in, you got to create a login. I'll use a Lars at CatCamStuff.com, my good old blog here. That's where you can get the free CNC handbook. And let's search for helmets. And I'm looking here and I see there's a SolidWorks model of a, well, there's a cricket helmet. That's kind of cool too. Uh, but there's a SolidWorks model of an Ironman. That's kind of cool. So let's download that. Click on download. It's going to be downloading. So thank you, Engineering Clayton, for, for providing this one. Um, so let me just open up my downloads folder here. Right click and let's extru extract all that. So we get a folder here, edit a JPEG. You will see all these are SolidWorks files. We can bring that into Fusion. Go into Fusion here, open up my panel. Let's upload it, select file. Let's go out to that downloads folder inside of that Iron Man. And the trick when you're bringing anything in for SolidWorks is to make sure that you select um, the different, all the different files. So I'm actually gonna select these, I'm gonna try to select these here, all the files. It looks like there's multiple files in here, I'm not quite sure, but selecting the assembly file and all the part files, hit open, upload, and let Fusion bring that in. Give it a second, see what we get. Close that out, double click. And thanks to uh, our engineer, I got part of the helmet. There's more to it. Okay, uh, this will work. So we have a curve here. No, this will not work. This is not good enough. <laughs> this is not good enough for us. Upload. Let's just go in here again. Maybe if I select, maybe it's a multi-assembly. Let's go ahead here and select these. And let's try to select that, the biggest one as our main assembly. Not giving credit enough to Engineer Clayton if I don't bring in his file, I feel like. Almost there. Close, let's try that. Yeah, 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 that's much better. Cool Iron Man helmet, all right. So um, to ask James a uh, question here, how do we get a custom profile um, for this helmet? And there could be a lot of different ways to do it, um, but there could be a chance that the helmet design you get in is a mess file. So I'm not gonna, even though this is a solid model, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna skip that um, just because I, uh, you know, why, why not? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the form workspace. And I'm going to create a offset plane. Select our plane and hold down left mouse button. Select our plane. And I'm going to create somewhere where I think in the height, I think I want to start my design here. So up here somewhere, I'm going to do a flat plane on that. Go up on the top face here. And I'm just going to draw out um, the foot of the mount like that. Okay. Uh, so now we end up having a, a, a piece here. Now, I've talked about, 
talked about form or sculpting before. You can you can make this more accurate by inserting more edges. So if you went in here and you insert more edges, this will get more accurate. But there's this cool function I gotta show to you. There is in here a a um, pull function. So if you're selecting pull, check this out. I can literally pull all these points down to that helmet surface. And the, sh and the more points you have, the more accurate it's probably going to get. But now what we ended up doing with the pull function is we're getting that shape that you want to make sure that it's concave um, to, to the helmet. So if I just open up the bodies here, if I just turn the, the helmet off for a second, you will see that I have kind of like th all those points are lined up with that. And now I could go in and do something like a thicken to this. And we could add some thickness to it. Let me just make it like a couple of millimeters thick. And that will now be a solid body that um, is laying on that surface. And again, the more points you have, the more accurate it's going to get. You can see if we zoom in that it's not right here. It's missing a little bit. So you probably want to be a little bit finer than I just did. But this is really cool because this um, is now a uh, can now be a sort of body that you can uh, that you can work with as your as your GoPro uh, GoPro mount. So with that, we got an Iron Man helmet. Uh, we did some. Uh, we have done some mold sliders. Uh, we have done some weaponry, almost <laughs> some milling, some bicycle frames. Uh, some surfacing versus solid modeling. Uh, we did a uh, we did a ring here, and also uh, something I can't even even pronounce. That, my friends, is going to end this <laughs> the eighth of these Sunday editions live stream. I really appreciate it. It's just me trying to answer some of my emails.